Hey, I'm Anderson Cowan, and uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Ridley Scott's latest, The Last Duel. It won't be his latest for very long, because uh, he also has House of Gucci coming out uh, before the year is over, also starring Adam Driver. But first, The Last Duel, not to be confused with his first feature film, The Duelists, with Harvey Keitel, which I saw quite some time ago. Doesn't have the impact that The Last Duel does, that I can tell you. Okay. Uh, the Last Duel stars one Adam Driver, who's also going to be in the House of Gucci, uh, one Matt Damon, who at times looks fairly unrecognizable, uh, Ben Affleck's also in there. At one point, he was supposed to be the uh, lead, the Adam Driver character, but thankfully, he fell out. Uh, ben, Ben's good in this. He, he's fine. Uh, and then Jody Comer, who uh, plays the, the, the lead female, and her role was very well done. Okay. Let me, let me tell you a little, a little bit about the last one. I was supposed to talk to you guys last week. Uh, I planned to uh, about No Times Die, the uh, the last Daniel Craig uh, James Bond movie. Uh, an hour and twenty minutes into that movie, I had to I had to split because I was just almost falling asleep. Uh, I felt like I knew where the movie was going, uh, and you know it, it usually comes down to mono we mono, right? Like the antagonist, the protagonist, like everyone else is dead or off and. The antagonist, protagonist, they, they get together for a little mono a mono. And it's just so tropey, and it's so paint by numbers, and it's so lazy. However, when you set up the entire movie around a duel between these two characters, it works because it's, it's, it's what you signed up for, and you, that's the entire story. Let me tell you what this story, what it, how it really, really works, and my God, does this movie work. I should say, I don't love The Last Duel, but I like it very much. Like I like it a lot. I might be in danger of loving it before the year is over. I, I am thinking about it still. All right, here's the story. Uh, Adam Driver's character is a knight. He's a squire, uh, as is Matt Damon. Matt Damon apparently can't even grow facial hair. I was not aware of this, but can't, the man can't grow facial hair. So it kind of worked because they got to do all these ty different types of uh, like Abe Lincoln type beards uh, where there's no mustache. And then sometimes there is a mustache and he's got this horrific scar and he's got a, a wild mullet going, which... It works like he looks like he should be wearing Oakley blades uh, through this movie. He's a great warrior and he just he gets out there and he just pummels. He's killed a lot of people uh, in war. And he's, he's got a friend in Adam Driver who is much more uh, intellectual. He's smarter. He's a whole lot smarter. He uses his brain a lot. He's more of like a playboy and he likes to get out there and, and have a good time. So the movie opens chapter one and uh, we see a story unfold that is through the eyes of the Matt Damon character. Then, but it's three acts. The th second act is the story, the same story, the same events, according to Adam Driver. The final story is Jody Comer's character's uh, uh, version of the events, which are probably mostly the most true. I should also say I, I messed up. This is a tr based on a true story. Uh, we're talking 1386 Paris. That's where it opens up. It opens up with the duel. So don't be late. I mean, don't ever be late to movies anyways. But it opens up with the duel. Uh, kind of like a lot of YouTube videos where they give you a little sneak peek of what's to come. And then, you know, smash cut. And then we go back to, like, you know, what happens to get us to the duel. And then we see it three different versions of it. Uh, I've seen this before. I'm very familiar with this. Kurosawa did it with Rashomon. Uh, Edward Zwick did it with Courage Under Fire, which I really, really like that movie. Uh, but it's like, the same events, but through different people's perspectives. Uh, Gus Van Sant did it with Elephants, which I absolutely loved. Uh, I did it with Groupers, which I, I think is all right. But I love the idea of whose truth is it? Whose ideas are we seeing? Like, what is truth? What is real? This is a based on a true... Like, like I said, it's based on a true story, 1386 in Paris. And the reason why it's called The Last Duel, they don't really get into this, but it's interesting historically, is it was the last recognized, sanctioned, actual, uh, allowable, uh, legal duel that, that was... Um, had in France, uh, 1386, a long time ago. Things were different five years ago here. Things were very different in 1386. It's hard to like I, any of the characters other than the female character, really. Uh, she's the lead, is the only one that actually is decent at all. It seems like everyone's pretty bad, pretty awful. Uh, but what's really interesting is you don't like either one of the lead of the knights, of the squires. You don't like Matt Damon, he, even though he's the closest thing we get to a protagonist. You don't like Adam Driver, even though at times he's okay, and other times he's uh, a monster. And by the end of the movie, 
I was, I, I don't remember being this invested in a mono a mono fight since Rocky, like since I was a little kid. Like I, I was so affected and invested in what was going to, I didn't know what was going to happen. You can say it's public record. Yeah, who's, who's reading public record from 1386? And, and uh, yeah, historians obviously are familiar. I didn't know how it ended. The stakes were very high. Yes, the universe wasn't going to end, which was okay. It's all right. You can see a movie where like the whole world doesn't have to die. Those don't have to be the stakes. The stakes were very real, very large in this small world. Uh, and I, I was gripping my seat, which doesn't happen very often. I, and I knew the duel was coming because we all, it's called the last duel for God's sake. What I love so much about movies and movies like this is it, it stirred this emotion, it got this stuff out of me. Like it stirred this emotion in me and it, it affected me. And it happens in real life. We're all affected emotionally. Most of us are, right? Uh, however, when it happens in a movie, like it's, it's like lightning in a bottle at, at the risk of sounding absolutely douchey. Like it's not going to affect me to that level again when I, if I see it again five, 10 years uh, from now. But I, I know that it's there. I know that I can tap into that and be affected by it. Yeah, we, we have emotions with our loved ones in traffic, you know, with day-to-day like, -day things cause emotions in us. But when a, a movie like this does it affect them, does it well, it's, it's, it's magic. It's, oh God, I sound douchey, but I, it, the fact that two and a half hours, it's worth the two and a half hours if it has the same effect on you, obviously. It's not gonna work on everybody walking out of the theater. It was a late showing. We didn't get out of there till one in the morning. I did hear a couple talking about how they both fell asleep. I'm sorry for them because they missed a lot. All right, if you have seen this movie, uh, even if you haven't or if you disagree with something, let's start getting a discussion going in the comments because uh, I will review this longer form uh, on the Film Vault later next week, talk about it with uh, cinematics as well. But I would like to have some discussion back and forth and really like these types of movies especially. So let me know what you thought of it down there, if I'm crazy, if it didn't work on you or if it did, if I missed anything. Uh, plenty of things I'm sure I missed, but wow, did I like this movie. This is the first movie that I've seen that I will be shocked if it's not up for a number of awards, including Best Picture. This is a Best Picture. I don't think it's going to win, but it's a best picture type of movie. Really, Scott might have a couple this year. All right. Hey, thanks for listening. Oh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, next week, a whole new movie. I bid you a duel. Not my favorite duel movie, though. Mm.